What is up, every Barcelona fan and football fan? I am back again with uh, another uh, video. This is gonna be pretty short, pretty quick, because um, I don't have much time. But uh, <clears throat> this is just gonna talk about the last two games that we played, that Barcelona has played, and a little bit of a preview for the, today's game against LJ. So, <clears throat> first off, uh, just quickly, the, going over the Cadiz game, uh, that was uh, really. A really solid game. We went through that game very well. Um, did what we had to do to get the three points. By the end, some fortunate things happened in the crowd. Like an old man got a heart attack, and um, the game had to stop. Be stopped for a while, like 10, 15 minutes or so. Uh, but then it then it picked up again, and we scored two more goals after that. But um, and also, cameraman. I, I said that in my last video too, but. And also a cameraman also passed, passed out <clears throat> but uh, as I as far as I know so far I think both of them are okay and stable and they're both fine now uh, especially the one the one with the heart attack I think he's okay he was <clears throat> transported to the hospital but l last I heard at least he was he was stable <clears throat> <clears throat> so oh, so then um, but overall, a good game versus Cadiz, and we did the, got the job done. Then in midweek, it was the big one. It was the Bayern game, and um, yeah, the it's just a frustrating. It's a real frustrating game. Just a frustrating loss to Bayern. Uh, this time around, it wasn't a humiliation. We didn't suffer any big, <clears throat> massive defeat where we had no chance or anything. No, on the contrary, we were. 100% the better team in that game, especially in the first half. We dominated them like crazy. We had so many more clear chances, and <clears throat> it was just go a chance after chance, and we went out at them throughout the whole game. But sadly, just we weren't clinical enough. We, we couldn't c convert our chances, and that's the one that really... Uh, to seal the deal for that, that that really made us lose the game because uh, there's few or small like really clear chances that they did, that Bayern did get they did convert those chances and they scored two goals on those chances <clears throat> so we couldn't and um, we couldn't you know it and that's just so frustrating that is even worse <clears throat> like a worse disappointment uh, like a worse like pain of loss really here it's not uh, the same way as when you get humiliated like big t like a, that one day Tom does like a two and other stuff like that no this is different we were actually the better team it's just it's like we didn't deserve to lose <clears throat> we deserved better <clears throat> if we would have put in our chances in the first half we would at least be winning this one this that game with at least a 3-1 or something at least <clears throat> but it is what it is you know you cannot can't change it now but at least it's that was that kind of small problem that is fixable and is improvable 100 percent the the finishing and being more clinical in these games <clears throat> at least it's just that because everything else really worked very well the defense was very solid the midfield worked very well <clears throat> um, except for those two goals, of course, it was a little bit, but overall, it was very, very good. A very, very good performance. You know, Gavi and Pedri were absolutely incredible in midfield. <clears throat> in the back, uh, surprisingly, Marcos Alonso, I said in my match that I wasn't sure about Marcos Alonso, but overall, he did a really good job, surprisingly. He wasn't bad. Yes, he messed up a little bit with one of the goals, but I think the whole defense really did, and... It just you can't really just put a blame on him for that one. But overall, Alonso did a very solid job against Bayern, and uh, he also like went back and defended some very very like good chance over Bayern, like stopped them from getting through multiple times. So <clears throat> overall, like, definitely a good performance for him, <clears throat> and <clears throat> just a fortunate that our forwards just kept missing. Lewandowski had a multiple very clear chances as well, but sadly he couldn't convert those. <clears throat> um, Rafinha had some, I think, like, 
and Dembele too, and, and others. Pedri had a very clear chance to shoot <coughs> in front of goal, but he shot it right at the Neuer. He could have converted a little bit better, but it is what it is. We just have to move on and, and <coughs> learn from this, learn from this game, learn from the mistakes that we had, and uh, hopefully not repeat them next time, you know. Hopefully we don't repeat these mistakes versus Inter in the second game against Bayern. You know, hopefully we can <clears throat> learn from it and do and do better and also you know, just be more clinical going forward this season in the especially in the Champions League. If we do manage to get it out of the group and do <clears throat> get which I believe we will, <clears throat> um in the knockout stages these things will matter even more. So it's it's gonna be definitely Interesting to see how Xavi approaches it and how he gets motivates the player to go for more <clears throat> and to learn, makes them learn how to really uh, be more composed in front of goal and finish the right way and not uh, you know <clears throat> waste the chances and not stress too much and try to really find the perfect way to, to put the ball past the goalkeeper, put it in the net. You know, uh, Neuer made some definitely, of course, some really <clears throat> good saves. You know how, how, what type of goalkeeper he is, but we had many clear chances, but we could have finished this game off just in the first half, but we didn't, and that why we got punished for for it by Bayern <clears throat> later on, like earlier in the second, <clears throat> we got punished with the fun first with, the, uh, with one nil, and then later on, <clears throat> um, Sane also puts in the second goal as well. It's uh, it's really annoying that we get that we lost this game, a game that we definitely should have won and could have, uh, like it was no doubt that we should have won this game, but it just wasn't meant to be. We were not lucky enough. They were. And sometimes you gotta have luck on your side, but to not. <clears throat> um, but this time it wasn't on our side. So yeah. I uh, can't do more about that, but overall still it was a great signs of how we have improved definitely wasn't a bad game uh, Overall it, we definitely showed signs of massive improvement that we wanted it that we went for it That we didn't let Bayern like play around with us too much the two goals they got that was smaller mistakes of our side <clears throat> And that's what happens when you miss a lot of chances, <clears throat> but oh, other than that we really went in there. We really went for it and tried in the end. We didn't let them overtake us in any way or really completely dominate. So anyway, no, we were the one dominating them. We were the one really taking over them and really pressing them and really putting them on the spot. Even a multiple of the Bayern players came out afterwards, like Kimmich and, uh, and Sané both said that like, Barcelona is much better this season than we were last season. And then that they got lucky to get away with three points. So it's definitely a good sign to see that and hear that from players like that, from a team like Bayern, that they that they were stressed up, that we did at least really rile them a bit. And I believe at Camp Nou, at, at home, at Spotify Camp Nou, we can definitely do better. I think we can have a much better game if we just work on the, on the finishing until then, and then definitely we can get that job done. Um, now the players will have a lot of time to rest as well after this game, coming game now, it's going to be the international break, <clears throat> players are going off to the national teams, playing conference league and other stuff like that, um, so it's going to be interesting to see, uh, not conference league, sorry, uh, nations league, uh, <clears throat> so it's going to be very interesting to see now uh, when they come back, how, if we can keep the momentum going, I hope so, that the you know how international breaks have messed with us before. Hopefully this time it won't. Then we can keep the momentum. Going. We can go into the game after. I don't remember which what each game that is, but <clears throat> hopefully tonight, uh, today we against Elche we can get a good result going into so we'll stay positive going into the international break and then come back and keep working. You know, um, <clears throat> some of the players that will stay they will stay and train and stuff like that, but. <clears throat> like Ansu Fati has not been called up, so he'll be staying and <clears throat> and others like that. So it's it's <clears throat> some players will stay and train up, and hopefully they do work, take that time to really work and improve and get their form right. Because the October is gonna be, it's gonna be a 
absolutely insane. It's just the, the, the game schedule for October is unbelievable. It's just, I don't know, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy and exhausting. So hopefully they can really keep their form well <clears throat> and be ready for this month to come because it's going to be a lot. Right, multiple Champions League, big Champions League games, you know, two games against Inter, <laughs> one game against Bayern, uh, a Clasico as well, and many other things. This, it's, I can't even believe, like, I just, I don't envy them at all, really, in this case, because I don't know how they're going to do it. It's just this World Cup has really messed up everything, because the World Cup is going to take start in, like, mid-November, so the schedule the gaming schedule has just been pressed together in, in an insane way it's just it's not fun it's not fun at all but hopefully Chavi gets the tactics right hopefully the players stay fit and well and good to get the job done in these games and that we can go and just uh, get good results until the <clears throat> until the work up and then We'll see in the second half of the season in January then <clears throat> where we stand and uh, in each of the competitions and <clears throat> how we'll and then we'll take it from there and go from there and see where which competitions we can win. But now the first part of the season is to get into it and really how we have every team has to really get a good position going into January. This is where you show <clears throat> what the rest of the season can hold for you. This is where you show <clears throat> Uh, if you are strong enough or not, if, if you can do something. Of course, there's always ways you can turn things around in the second half of the season too. We've seen multiple teams do that and being do surprising things. Like, for example, Chelsea for a couple of seasons ago, too much well, they won the cha Champions League. Nobody believed they would do that. <coughs> After the cast, they, like first half of the season with uh, on the Lampard, but then they went on to do it, and I believe that hopefully we can have a good position going into January, preferably being on top of the league, right? And also, if not winning the group, at least being going through to the knockout stages, and then hopefully getting a decent enough, decent enough opponent in the uh, in the round of sixteen. So there's a lot of things to really think about and talk about, but we'll get to that when we get to that. But yeah. But that's gonna do it for this. Um, tonight we have today we have Elche's game. Elche game. The lineup is out. I posted that on my Instagram as well. If you want to check that out, it's a very interesting lineup too. This time, uh, no Busquets in midfield. He's being rested for some reason. I don't know. He's like taking for now. Uh, Frankie Dion starts probably in that central defensive middle, with, and then Cassier and uh and. Pedri, I believe, or Gavi. I don't remember which one of us <coughs> was, but it, all of them also <coughs> alongside there. And up front, uh, Memphis starts instead of Rafinha. And we have Dembele starting also with uh, Lewandowski, of course. So um, in the back, of course, we have the normal of Kunde, Araujo, Eric Garcia, and Balde. <coughs> and this day getting goal. So. We'll see. It's still a solid, very strong lineup. I think we can definitely beat Elche. They have not had a st good start of the season. So it should be able to be done. And hopefully we do get it done. And I'm expecting multiple goals, hopefully, as well. So we can get into winning ways again. Get into scoring again, you know. <clears throat> get into the rhythm and converting chances in a good way. At least a little bit before <clears throat> we take a two-week break. But yeah. That's gonna do it for this. I hope you guys did enjoy this little quick video. If you did, leave a like down below and also subscribe if you're not already. Ring the notification bell to get notified next time I upload every type of match previews, match reviews, and <clears throat> other things, news about Barcelona and uh, other parts of football as well. Right? I'll be trying to do more of those things too going soon. Maybe a couple of the bigger results in some of the leagues and or at least in the Champions League. So, yeah. And also, possibly, I'll, I'll do some reports maybe in the Nations League stuff, if there's anything of major interest, possibly. <clears throat> and remember also, I'll be covering the World Cup, hopefully, in November and December, somehow. But we'll get to that, we'll get to that. But yeah, other than that, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace, Kabarsan.